Hello and welcome to BQ Prime. I am Murli Dar Swaminathan. With me is a very important person from the government of Karnataka. He is driving a lot of initiatives, and uh, I am sure most of you would have uh, seen him at the Karnataka Investor Summit, which was called as Global Investor Summit. Dr. Murugesh Nirali. He is also an entrepreneur. He is the Industries Minister. He has been a very strong social activist. social worker supporting doing social service and an active mla of the ruling party that is the bjp dr nirani welcome to the show namaste sir my first question sir is the prime minister himself spotted and called bengaluru brand bengaluru and he said that talent and technology are the key aspects of bengaluru i am sure you would have also recognized that how are you using that to grow in a much bigger fashion compared to what we have been doing so far bengaluru is a very special city compared to the other state within india and abroad also where our competition is only between forwarded countries and karnataka no any other state in the, within the uh, within india karnataka we are calling it is a knowledge hub of asia lot of universities are here lot of engineering college medical college iti uh, indian institute of science in education side we are, for the uh, for these all those things we are getting the skilled and semi skilled workers right then karnataka is a one state many opportunity this opportunity is not in other other states in the so many sectors we are number one in the country everybody knows itbt has more than 60% export export is from the karnataka Uh, it uh, everybody is calling it is a silicon valley of india like that aerospace and defense also we are number one in the country green energy we are the number one in the country gems and jewelry we are number one in the country semiconductor policy also we make number one in the country uh, manufacturing sector service sector then uh, fmcg like that in the so many sectors we are number one it is not for uh, this it, it is not came the overnight Lot, but uh, in Nalavadi uh, Krishnaj Vadeer and Bharatratna uh, Sare Mishra Sareya period, they started. They are the visionary. Their uh, vision is how to uh, grow Karnataka, how to increase the GDP, how we will go for the number one in the country, then how to make our area Atma Nirbhar. Right. they start they are using atmanirbhar word now right they are using in the different word correct hmm those days they started about more than 150 industry in one generation hmm. within one generation 150 is not a joke yes. who can who can build now because lot of technology is there correct. connectivity is there then we are getting easy loan also yes those days no we are not getting very difficult to get the loan we are not getting the any technology we have to, we have to develop in our own uh, you know so only those days they started atmanirbhar that is a base that is a foundation in karnataka okay. after that next generation they started continuation of that right now in the so many sectors we are number 1 globally our indians are they are working very important uh, companies as a ceo md are they put up their plant in abroad also right. it is the speciality of the karnataka climate wise sir you can think climate nowadays they are using ac and pam but 10 years before last 100 years and uh, before that also no house they are not using any pan and ac that is a uh, bengaluru speciality climate uh, as a climate as well. then law and order is also comparatively other state we are number 1 Karnataka is a such a city. Wherever they will come to the Karnataka, no objection. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anybody they will come to the Karnataka, they will uh, welcoming. Mm-hmm. They are supporting. Yeah. That is a speciality. Now the entire world is coming here. The entire world is coming. <laughs> you have the Amazons and the Apple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now in that context, see, I think your theme this time for the Global Investor Summit is to make for the world. Make for the world. What is the logic? Why did you? Pick that up as a theme. Think, think big, act big. It is our concept. Right. Globally, we are thinking. It is our global summit. 
whatever we are doing in the Karnataka, now beyond that we are thinking. Right. That's why uh, we are doing for the world only. But how would you feel? You see, sir, last uh, 100 days before also some uh, forwarding countries, they are invested in Karnataka. Now, repeated investment is coming to Karnataka. Compared to the other state in Karnataka, the major difference is they are investing uh, repeatedly to Karnataka. Mm -hmm. Maybe Boss, Siemens, the Toyota, you name it, sir. Mm -hmm. About 400 uh, Fortune 500 companies, they invested in last 100 years. Yes. Their office is here. Their R&D centers are here. More than 388 R&D centers are in Bengaluru. Nowhere in the globe. In one place, 388 R&D centers. Then, startups, nowadays it is a startup uh, uh, nowadays, one third of the star, uh, more than one third of the startups are in Bangalore only. Yes, yes. Like that, you can uh, you can name it, sir. Technology wise, uh, education wise, everything we are number one. That is a proud, not to say. True. Because of that, lot of investment is coming to the Karnataka. Right. So this is one phase. In, in fact, let me go back a little uh, bit. Of course, you uh, you are an expert there. You have seen everything grow and you have driven all these things. The uh, second phase, if I may call, was the 60s and 70s when all the public sector companies, they came, they set up here. They chose Bangalore. Then came the next phase, BPO, followed by IT companies. Now the startup companies is the third phase. Now, if we go to fourth phase, the if I can call it fourth phase, you know, how will you lead that? Because that is going to be very critical for the further growth of Karnataka and not just Bangalore. We have to go beyond Bangalore. So was that message carried across in the summit and what was the kind of response? Uh, sir, now we made our slogan beyond Bangalore only. Okay. Whatever we made the MOU sign about 9.81 lakh crores, out of that... Above 85 90% is behind Bangalore only. Because we are not giving any concession or subsidy to whoever is to set up the plant in Bangalore, we are not giving. Okay. Tier 2 city, we are giving the better uh, concessions. Right. Tier 3, it is much better than the Tier 2. Even if whoever is put up their plant in uh, Kalyan Karnataka, earlier it was the Hyderabad Karnataka, we are giving more one to one. Uh, basis we are discussing and we are giving them more consistent. Like that, everybody is interested to go beyond Bangalore. Not only that, we are connectivity and other infrastructure we are developing. Like airport, I told you. Yes. Earlier it was only eight airport in Karnataka. Now another three is adding within few months. Uh, that name of the you know, airport is Vijayapur in North Karnataka, Hassan and Shubanka. Other than that, another five airport is coming in Karnataka. One is Davangere, second Bagalkot, Koppala, Raichur, then Chikmagaluru. After completion of this 8 plus 3, 11, 11 plus 5, 16 airport, after that, every 100 kilometer one airport is in Karnataka. Every 100 kilometer. There is a connectivity. connectivity yeah. We are developing the uh, railway uh, track also for uh, reduce that uh, time. About more than 5,000 kilometer national highway it is under construction in the Karnataka. It is a shattered uh, route, Bharat Mala 2, yes. from Mumbai to Chennai. Why are, you know, most of the area is covering in Karnataka only. We can save 5 to 6 hours Correct. time. Another one is Goa to Hyderabad. It will save more time, about 3 to 4 hours. Like that, train, uh, ray, this one uh, highway, airway, yes. then waterway also. Right. Now we are, develop, we are planning to develop Karwar and uh, Mangalore also. This is a connectivity and support to the tier two cities. Right. This is more helpful to them. Right. Then uh, we are planning to upgrade more than eight engineering colleges to IIT level in next five years. Okay. Eight engineering colleges, each division wise, right. not all in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. Already one triple IT is came in Beng uh, Darwad Ubli. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, we are developing one IIT level in uh, Kalburgi. Right. Like that in all the sectors. About more, we are investing 4,500 crores mm -hmm. ITI, small. Small scale development. Small, yeah. small scale uh, mm -hmm. ITI, mm -hmm. we are investing, uh, invested last year 4,500 crores to upgrade the ITI. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it a, is a skilled city. Yeah, it's a very critical uh, thing for the future. Every small, small things also we are concentrating. Correct. Yeah. Major revenue is coming from the industry sector. Correct. 
about more than 55% revenue is coming from the service sector. 22% is from the manufacturing sector. Mm -hmm. Our agriculture sector, it is only 8 to 12%. Right. Compared to all those things, more revenue is coming from the industry area. Then so far in Karnataka, we acquired the land approximately 1,65,000 acres. Right. Mm -hmm. Comparatively, whatever the geographical area we feel considered, mm -hmm. it is 0.5% only. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is very negligible. Mm -hmm. That's why whatever the getting the revenue from that 0.5% area, then other agriculture sector, it is much better. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, the key question is, the uh, offer to invest in Karnataka is running to lakhs of crores. Out of them, how many and how much is for manufacturing as such? And how much is for uh, startups or no. semiconductor? Uh, how will it be? I'll give the, all the details. Yeah. The, whatever the approximately 10 lakh crores investment came to Karnataka in last global nurses made, hmm. we made the bifurcation. Right. District-wise, sector-wise, hmm. who are the companies? Investment, investment period, everything is ready. Okay. That entire 10 lakh crores, I'll give it to you. Right, right. So, of uh, which you are confident entire will get converted or? No, no, because it, it takes possible. time. It is no, not possible. There is also competition no. from other states. No, it is not possible for 100% realization. Okay. Now, I'm expecting about 70% plus. 70% is still a lot. It's they, a big amount. Uh, any, any, anybody has come down to a definitive signing agreement with oh, you? Example. Our JSW, Jindal Steel, Sajjan is announced hmm. 1 lakh crore rupees investment in next 5 years. Okay. Out of that 42,000 crores, they are investing green hydrogen. Ah. For green hydrogen, they are not, uh, they don't want any water, hmm. land, hmm. power, hmm. everything is with them only. Okay. Within the premises, whatever they are, they are using for hmm. uh, this green hydrogen. Whatever they are producing green energy, hmm. they are utilizing in the right. same purpose. Same purpose. Achha, not for public mobility, no. transport. Okay. No, it is a more advantage. Pakka, it will come. Correct. Hmm. Like that in different sector. Hmm. About uh, Gautam Adaniji, they are, they are planning to invest in 1 lakh rupees in 5 years' time. Okay. They announced hmm. um, Karan Adaniji. Hmm. Uh, main, they are also in green energy, they are concentrating. Correct. Second thing is service sector. Data centers also, they are much interested mm -hmm. to invest in Karnataka. Mm -hmm. Like that, uh, uh, cement also, they now recently they started in the cement division. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, Karna Karnataka is available in the huge limestone. Yes. 50 yes. million lakh ton is available in Karnataka. Mm -hmm. Major is the Kalan Karnataka. Mm -hmm. uh, already 21 major cement industries are there. Mm -hmm. uh, out of that, uh, huge quantity is there. They may start. I requested them, okay. you can start the, one, the green cement plant here, mm -hmm. most like a modern technology, in a bigger way. You will give incentives for that? Or will the no, cement, government? we are not giving any no, incentives. No, for green conversion into green energy and green cement, will you give any? No, green cement is uh, whatever, that much technology not improved in, yeah. the, in the globally because I am in that sector also. I know, yes. I'm manufacturing. But uh, we, can we can give the land, mm -hmm. limestone, mining area, mm -hmm. whatever the connectivity they want, right. rail connectivity, sure. highway. Whatever they want, we will provide. Right. In in all this, uh, you know, while we all know that the road sector development has been going at a fantastic pace over the last 10 to 12 years, you know, Mr. Nitin Gadkari has taken it as a personal mission and he's laid a lot of roads and every road that connects even one kilometer will create jobs for some 5,000, 10,000 people, you know. So, my next question is the most difficult part, two parts to it. One is water is a problem always and power and energy. Because as Karnataka expands, we have always seen that problem. Power problem and water problem. So that will come back to you only, you know, as the industries minister. Everybody will ask you that question. What is your answer? Sir, Karnataka is a surplus power producer. Yeah. Already total production is 63% is in our state only. Right. No problem. No, uh, power is not an issue in Karnataka. But in a uh, city no, like Bangalore? No, anywhere. Right. Anywhere. Mm. Surplus uh, production is there. For total power production is 63%. Okay. Then water is anywhere. It is a problem. Yes. We have the lot of dams are here from the Beedar to up to Kaveri, from Bhima to Kaveri. Lot of Palmati dam is there, Hidakal dam is there, Narayanpura in between. 
uh, dam is there, water is not a issue. Right. If it is water problem is there, it is globally it is a problem. Correct. Okay. Our entire country is a problem. Compared to other state, Karnataka is more same for water also. Right. We have water, we have land, power, skilled workers, then uh, connectivity. Everything is there in the Karnataka. That's why you are calling Karnataka is one state, many opportunities. Right. Wonderful. Uh, one very important question which keeps uh, coming, though both BJP is ruling here in Karnataka as well as at the center and some neighboring states also. Each state keeps competing. One of the most important projects went to Gujarat. Sir, Mahar from Maharashtra was competing for it. I'm sure Karnataka would also have been competing. Right. Uh, no, it is I'm a, talking about the semiconductor project. I know, I know, I understand. There is Anil Agrawal, yes. who we met in uh, London, uh, Vedanta Group. Uh, it is a it is a part of our Indians, you know, Gujarat and uh, Tamil sure. Nadu, this yeah. one. 100 uh, percent we cannot uh, uh, digest in Karnataka. Everybody will come to Karnataka, where will give the entire thing. Mm. Instead of 10 lakh crores, it may go up to uh, 50 lakh crores. Right. They are our brothers. We are not healthy competition is there. Nowadays, healthy competition is a must. Correct. That's why Vedanta Group is started. Mm. A lot of investment is in Karnataka. Mm. Uh, I, they called me as a uh, breakfast to his house in London. Ganil mm. Agrawal, uh, he gave about five to six our time. Okay. Definitely, we'll give the additional investment there. His son came. Hmm. Pratik Agarwal came. He also announced 50,000 crores. Okay. Uh, hmm. Vedanta group. Hmm. Then, automatically, Prime Minister is there. He told, you can invest one uh, project in hmm. Gujarat. So, parallelly in uh, Tower group, hmm. uh, they started in the uh, semiconductor in my, uh, Mysore. Sorry. <laughs> like that, one district, one product. Like that, we have to ba balance the other state also. Right. And then only it, uh, it is uh, balancing. Absolutely, yeah, mm. because the competition is uh, quite intense. Uh, for all this you thing. see, some some project gone to Andhra Pradesh, yes, Boeing or uh, Airbus. They invested ten years before to go in in, in Karnataka. Mm -hmm. I called them in the 2010 Global mm -hmm. Investors Summit. They invested mm -hmm. more than five thousand engineers are working in Airbus and uh, Boeing mm -hmm. in Karnataka in our. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Aerospace and Defense uh, mm -hmm. Park. Mm -hmm. Now they are going to the neighboring. Correct. Yeah. But mm -hmm. why? They, no, no. They are not unhappy. They yeah. are happy. Uh -huh. But they want to start the branch in the different places. Right. Easily availability of the uh, workers and uh, for uh, any one big in the industrialist, they are mm -hmm. not concentrating in one place. Mm -hmm. And so they are spreading the... They are spreading the businesses, businesses in the different places. Okay, but you will have a tough time negotiating with all these people. No, no, no. This is not sir, This is a friendly competition. Yeah. This is a friendly competition. No, but it's deal making. That is it's why we, deal, sir, we got 38% investment came to Karnataka Correct. in FDI. Yeah. Correct. Hmm. They are also tried. No? They are yeah. not got to get it. Right. 38% huh? is our share. 22% is Maharashtra. Remaining is single digit. We are much higher than the neighboring state. True. Okay. So, uh, very clearly, uh, you know, I will come back to two aspects. One is employment and the other is the skill development. These two are going to be very critical, whether it's uh, large scale industry or small scale industry or IT for that matter. IT we have established. It's very clear that Karnataka has got the resources. It's attracting talent from everywhere. But when it comes to manufacturing, again, you know, Karnataka, ten year, I'm talking 10 years down the line. We need to lay down a path the way our predecessors have laid down the path for us. For the next generation, you know, 10 years from now. In fact, Prime Minister also has laid down the path for the next 30 years. So for if you look at that kind of vision, what is in your mind? Have you started working on some white paper or a blue paper, as they may call it, setting the vision for the next 15, 20 years? Sir, it is a good question. Our vision is, after independence, it is 75 years. Yes. Oh, oh, we are celebrating Ajadika Amrit Mahotsav. Correct. Sir, you can go back to 75 years before our country population was 30 crores, approximately. That time, we need a, we are facing for the food problem. Right. We are, we are taking two from US or UK, wherever the food grains are exist, they are growing. We are taking from them. Correct. 
now we reached more than 130 crores population yes. now we are the excess production our aim is in the uh, 100 years satmanotsava what we are celebrating in that 100% we are planning to export the all the sector okay. number one number two we are minimizing the import of the goods okay. Where, wherever it is necessary then only only few 5 to 10% only we are planning okay. within 25 years mm-hmm. uh, our uh, sir mr sir i told to improve or to develop the country for that alate uh, golu manadanda yenadare that uh, yeah, 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 yeah. how much you are exporting how much you are importing Correct. Based on that only, where you are. Exactly. That's why our aim is, our Karnataka aim is, next 25 years, totally we are planning to avoid the import in all the sectors. My aim is. Maximum we are planning to export whatever in the all the sectors. And earn forex income. Yes. For that, we are planning to make the uh, uh, good policies, whatever base is called that uh, uh, skill technology, uh, talent pool, like that. Uh, whoever is required the uh, this one skilled workers based on that syllabus we will give the training to them Correct. it is sector to sector it is a different mm-hmm. if you go for the textile Correct. it is a different technology yes. if you go for the cement and steel it is a different technology if you go for the itb it is a different technology unnecessarily they are learning about 5 years 7 years it is regularly it is not using in there this one absolutely particularly Focused. what they need yeah only that major syllabus we are planning to include that okay. in ita level only yeah yeah yes, yes. Hmm. that's a that's a very important huh. it is a skill yes wonderful uh, i think you have given a complete picture of your vision and even the micro details of how to solve the questions that come top of mind thank you and wish you all the best sir thank you sir yes. thank you.